Hey guys, welcome to Yoga TX. I'm Jen Hillman, and on today's video, we are going to be looking at some exercises that will help to improve your flexibility and range of motion. Particularly, we're going to be focused on stretching into the hamstrings and hips. So a lot of our back pain and sciatic tension, a lot of problems that people often have can really stem from tightness in the hamstrings and hips. And if we want to improve our flexibility, we have to take our time and really get into stretching those muscles using some deep breath, some focused intent to help lengthen out those muscle fibers. And that's the work we're gonna be doing today. So I've got a yoga strap here that I'm gonna be using to assist me in the stretches. If you have a yoga strap, I would recommend grabbing it. But if you don't have a yoga strap, it's no worries. You can assist yourself with things that you may have around the house, like a necktie or a regular belt. You might also use a towel or a t-shirt, anything that you can use to wrap around your foot and hold on with your hands. So go ahead and grab whatever prop you want to use and then we're going to begin our practice lying on our back. And while you're at it, go ahead and leave a thumbs up, favorite this video so you can come back and practice with me again and again. The more often you practice these flexibility stretches, the more quickly you're going to see your flexibility improve and you'll notice a reduction in your back pain and just general overall tightness. So go ahead and leave me that thumbs up and let's get ready to stretch. Once you have your belt or your strap available, then we're gonna go ahead and come to lie down onto your back. Now this part may seem easy, <laughs> but we are definitely gonna get into some nice deep stretches here. So let's begin by just hugging your knees in towards your chest. Wrap your arms around your shins and draw your knees in close. You may notice that your tailbone starts to lift away from the floor as your spine curls. Just allow for a little bit of stretching and opening through your low back and hips. You can rock side to side a little if you like, or circle your knees around a few times, just loosening up the hip joints. And allow yourself to start taking some deep breaths and just getting centered and relaxed here. And focusing in on the next few minutes to just stretch and uh, go deep in your presence, feeling your body, feeling your breath. Now go ahead and hold on to your right knee and extend your left leg down towards the floor. Start to tip your pelvis forward so that your left leg gets a little bit longer on the floor. And you may even notice that the back of your left leg makes contact with the earth. You'll also notice that there's a little bit of space between the floor and your lumbar spine. So allow for that natural curve as your back comes away from the floor. Now you can go ahead and take your strap or your belt and wrap it around the sole of your foot, kind of up towards the ball of your foot. Try to keep your left leg very strong, very active, and pressing down towards the earth. Then once you have a hold of your strap or belt or towel or whatever you're using, you're gonna start to extend your right leg up towards the sky. You can use your hands to put a little tension on the belt, helping you to flex your right foot more. Now you may notice right away that your left leg wants to come up away from the ground, but I really challenge you to keep pressing that left leg down towards the earth. 
And as you take some deep breaths, you'll notice that your right leg starts to loosen up a little bit at a time. So as you start to notice a little bit more openness, you can deepen that stretch by pulling on your strap, pulling your right leg a little closer to you. But then you have to readjust, right? The left leg wants to come away from the floor. So tip your pelvis forward more. Press your left leg down towards the ground as you pull your right leg in towards you. Now you may be getting a lot of sensation here as you stretch, but this is, this is the work. Really taking your time to stretch and release any tension through the backs of your legs or even maybe getting some stretch in the front of your hip here too. Wherever you're feeling that sensation, that's where your body is tight. That's where it needs to stretch. So use your breath to allow you to soften and relax into your stretches. Now we prepare to change positions. Take your strap or your belt in your right hand. You're gonna slowly start to open your leg out towards the right side. But notice what happens. The left hip wants to come off the floor, that left thigh coming away from the ground. So we need to come back, recenter, ground down through your left hip, ground down through your left thigh, as you slowly open your right leg out towards the right, you wanna see if you can keep that left side connecting to the earth. So it's a little bit more challenging, but that's all right. We're not afraid of a challenge, right? Use the strength of your arms to support your right leg. Keep reaching your leg open as much as you can while maintaining the left side connected to the earth. We're gonna be here for a couple of breaths, so find your best stretch where you can stay here and go deep. The thing about these flexibility stretches is that you really have to take your time. There's no rushing in and out of the poses. If you really want to release tension and improve that range of motion, we've got to be patient with it, work with it, and slowly allow your body to open one little bit at a time. So relax your breath, relax your mind. If there's a lot of sensation, we tend to panic or kind of freak out like, when is this going to be over? But remember, come back to your breathing. This will help you to soften into your pose and allow your body to open a little bit more. And we'll slowly start to shift, bringing your right leg back up through center. And then we're gonna take that leg across the left side. So you can switch your hands. Oh yeah, feeling this one today. So your right leg may not come very far across the left side of your body. It doesn't have to. What you're really looking for is that stretch along the outer edge of your right leg. So as long as you're getting that stretching sensation, that's all you need to do. That's enough. So I see students sometimes want to rock all the way over to the left hip. But today, I really encourage you to pull back on your right hip. Try and keep that right hip drawing down towards the earth at the same time that the toes are reaching across the body. This is gonna give you a little bit deeper stretch across that right IT band.
Take another moment here to just breathe your breath, soften into the stretch. Now you can bend your right knee, release the hold on your strap, and just let that right knee come all the way across to the floor. So this time you will rock over to that left hip so the right hip comes away from the ground. You're trying to bring your right knee all the way down to the floor. At the same time, you want to open your right arm out to the right side and try to actively tack your right shoulder back down towards the earth. Now, it may not actually come down towards the earth, but we wanna have a little action in the upper body that's twisting towards the right while the lower body is twisting towards the left. So this is not just a sleeping pose. This is a very active pose, actively twisting and revolving the spine. Don't forget to breathe nice and deep here, which will allow your body to soften more and more giving you more openness, more spaciousness, and ultimately deeper relaxation. And let's come back to center. You can hug both knees into your chest again. And then I'd like you to cross your right ankle over your left knee. Open your right knee out towards the side. Now we're gonna get into a little stretch for that outer right hip. So draw your left knee up towards your chest. You can use your right hand to reach through your legs and interlace your hands at the front of your shin or maybe at the back of your hamstring, if that feels a little bit better. So either way is fine. And then hug your knee in towards your chest. As you keep pressing that right knee away from you. So the more you can push that right knee open, the deeper the stretch will be in your outer right hip. And that's the area we're really trying to focus on here for this stretch. So allow that knee to open so you can get deeper and deeper into your right hip. Then soften into your breath so that your soft, relaxed, deep breath sends a message to your body to soften and relax. And slowly release your grip. Bring both feet side by side. Hug your knees to your chest one more time. And now we'll try the other side. So extend your right leg down to the ground. Hug that left knee in. And now we work on that bottom leg. Tip your pelvis forward so that your right leg gets a little bit longer. And you may be able to notice the back of your right leg coming down towards the earth. You should also notice a nice lift in your low back. Now you can take your strap or your belt or your t-shirt, whatever you're using, and wrap it around the ball of your foot. If you lost your setup, then get a good grip on your strap and tip your pelvis forward again. Try and bring the back of your right leg down towards the floor and try to keep that activation as you start to extend your left leg up towards the sky, going nice and slow. And you may notice that one side feels more tight than the other. That's not unusual. 
Just notice whatever sensations are coming up for you without having to make any judgment about it or even without the need to change anything. Just notice what you feel and do the best in your pose. Keep your right leg pressing down towards the earth. Keep that foot active. Keep the leg strong. See if you can keep the lift in your low back as you use your arms to pull on your strap or your belt, pulling that left leg a little closer to you. Even if it's just a centimeter, a tiny little bit, every little bit helps when it comes to these deep stretches, improving your flexibility bit by bit. Remember, we've got to take our time with this one. There's no, no getting out of this. You can't rush into your flexibility. It takes a lot of time to build up all that tension. So we have to be patient with the process of releasing all that tension. So take one more breath here, bringing your full awareness to every part of this pose. And then we slowly will start to open the left leg out towards the left side. But remember, what are the key features of this pose? You want to keep the right hip grounded. Keep the right leg grounded. Then you can open the left leg out to the side as much as it wants to go until you find <laughs> that personal edge. And that's where you do the work. So keep that right leg super strong and activated, connected to the earth. You could almost imagine as if you were standing upright, like how strong and powerful that right leg would be. That's how much energy you should have. Then use the strength of your upper body, your arms, your biceps, your shoulders, to support the weight of that left leg as it opens out to the side. You can close your eyes here as it kind of allows you to uh, release any distractions and you can go a little bit deeper into your own personal awareness of your body, what you're feeling, what you're sensing, where the tightness is, feel it all and send your breath to those places that are holding the most tightness. More breath here, breathing in and breathing out. And then we start to come across the body. So draw your left leg across the midline, switch the position of your hands, and start to bring that left leg across to the right side of the body. And remember, today we want to pull back on the left hip, grounding that left hip back down towards the earth as the foot goes across the body. So there's some active opposition in the left leg. And I know it sucks a lot more that way. It's more sensation, it's more tightness, it's accessing more of those tense muscles. So I know it's, it's not as much fun to be pulling back on that left hip. But unfortunately our yoga practice is not always about having fun. It's about doing the work to heal your body. And I know you can do it. I believe in you. I support you. And that's why we're putting this information out there for you guys to give you the tools you need to heal your body. So take a deep breath. And with each moment, let that be your meditation. I'm healing my body. I'm caring for myself. This is worth it. And it is. Good work. Go ahead and bend your left knee. Let it soften. Then we're going to take that knee all the way towards the right side. And this time you can. Go ahead and let your hips come all the way up. 
so that you can bring your knee all the way down. But then we gotta get that active opposition. So open the left arm to the side and to the best of your ability, draw that left shoulder back down towards the earth so you're actively twisting in your spine. You can even think about your right ribs coming around, coming up towards the sky, rolling all the way around. So this is a very active twist. You know, sometimes we'll make this shape and do this twist in a more passive, relaxed kind of way, but that's not this today. <laughs> today we are actively twisting, saying yes to your flexibility and saying yes to your deep, relaxed breath. And now we come back to center. Go ahead and come all the way around. You can hug both knees into your chest. And we'll come into that little uh, hip stretch here. So bring your left ankle across your left knee and press your left knee open to the side. Draw your right knee in towards your chest and you can reach your left arm through your legs to slowly start to draw your knee in towards your chest. Now remember that you wanna press your left knee out to the side as much as you comfortably can. So the more you can open that left knee out, the more stretch you're gonna get in that left hip. So it's really up to you to find your own personal edge so you know how much stretch is enough for you to get the maximum benefit here. Continue with your nice, deep, fluid breath, taking another couple of moments here to really get into that left hip as much as you can. And slowly release the pressure. You can draw both knees together and give yourself a hug one more time. Squeeze those knees in. And go ahead and relax your legs down to the end of your mat. Roll your legs in and out of the hip sockets a couple of times. So you just Release any remaining tension, just wiggle it out a little bit. You can bounce your knees. Ooh. And then find your way to stillness, allowing your legs to completely relax. Slowly start to soften and deepen your breath. Feel the sensations of openness in your legs and hips. And just notice whatever sensations are coursing through your body, if it's in your low back or in the front of your hips or in the backs of your legs, just wherever that tingling vibration feeling is, just notice, observe, and breathe. And please feel free to stay and enjoy this time to relax and rest for as long as you need. This is an important part of your practice to integrate all the hard work that you've just done. So stay here as long as you can. And whenever you're ready, you can extend your arms overhead 
reach from your fingertips to your toes, from your toes to your fingertips, stretching your whole body long. Then slowly roll yourself over to one side, coming to a little fetal position where you can pause for a moment. And then using your top arm, press into the floor to push yourself up to a seated position. Lift your spine up towards the sky and let your knees fall open to the sides. Just maintain that sense of stillness and relaxation even as you come to sit. And let your breath be steady and fluid. And again, you're welcome to stay here and meditate with your breath for as long as you'd like. Thank you so much for joining me in this practice today. I hope that it's been helpful and that it's a tool that you can come back and use often. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and add it to your list of favorites. Please leave your comments below. It's always great to hear your feedback. And don't forget to subscribe to the Yoga TX channel. I've got brand new videos coming out for you every Thursday. It's a lot of great new content that you won't want to miss. You can also visit yogatx.org for some awesome new full length downloads that are available. Some longer practices for those of you that are ready to take it a little bit deeper. And if you'd like to have a chance to come practice with me live and in person, please visit my website, jenhillman.com, for a list of upcoming workshops and classes where you can come and meet me and get that personal one-on-one -on -one instruction. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you're feeling more flexible and loosened up and ready to enjoy the rest of your day. Namaste. Come all the way up to center. Bring your right hand across to your left knee, your left hand behind you, and just take a gentle twist through your spine.